Hello everyone, my name is Saloni and today we'll discuss a question that will be helpful to you for all physics competitive exams. And so our question says that there are four particles shown, shown in this figure that is given below and these are connected by massless rigid rods. Find the coordinates of the center of mass. Find the moment of inertia about an axis that passes through mass A and is perpendicular to the page. So this is our first part. This is our second part. So let's calculate the first part. Find the coordinates of center of mass. Okay. So if this is y axis, this is x axis. So definitely this is the origin. Okay. This is this is our reference point. So we know that xm as there are four particles. So xm is summation of mi xi divided by summation mi okay now you know uh, so this thing when we do summation it actually means that ma xa plus mb xb plus mc xc plus md xd divided by m a plus m b plus m c plus m d okay so this is our x c m so x c m you know we know that m a this is the reference point so definitely m a uh, x i a will be x i will be zero for so when you are finding the xcm that means the x component of center of mass then x com first we'll write the com uh, the coordinates so this is 0 0 what this is uh, what is the coordinate of this point b this is see this is 0 10 this is 10 10 and this is 10 0 okay so we've written the coordinates of uh, every every mass here now simply m a 200 uh, m a is 100 into 0 for m b uh, it's 200 into 0 because again x coordinate is 0 okay so this x a x b x c these are the x coordinate okay x coordinate uh, x coordinate of our point masses okay so for c we know it's 10 centimeter but this see this isn't 10 centimeters so if, what you can do yeah if you if you want to calculate it if you uh, put it in centimeters then xcm will come in centimeters if you put in meter then xcm will come in meter so it's up to you so what we do is let's say we uh, convert into uh, our meters okay so this is 0 0.1 into md which is 200 gram into again this is 0 0.1 divided by m a 100 plus 200 plus 200 plus 200 now in uh, in the numerator and denominator both are in grams so definitely that unit gets cancelled out so our uh, question becomes this is 200 into 0 0.1 plus 200 into 0 0.1 so this is uh, divided by 700 okay so the yeah the numerator and denominator both have both are in grams so unit gets cancelled out and the resultant will be in meters okay so it will be 0 0.057 meters okay so when you'll solve this this is 0 0.057 meter so xcm is 0 0.057 okay which is actually 5.7 centimeter okay so if if you want to if this is total 10 so if this is 5 then little bit here okay xcm is little bit here now for ycm ycm you need to uh, again integration m m i y i divided by integration m i so you put this 100 into y coordinate which is 0 plus 200 into y coordinate which is 0 0.1 this is for b this is for a 
for C it is 200 into 0 0.1 you can see it in the diagram and for D 0 for D it's again 0 okay so divided by again 700 grams so when you solve this this also comes as 0 0.057 meter which is again 5.7 centimeters so you see XCM is here and if this is the middle then 5.7 something our center mass will be something here okay uh, now uh, so the first the coordinates of center of uh, we found the coordinates of center mass second is for find the moment of inertia about an axis that passes through mass a and is perpendicular to the page so it's perpendicular to the page that means if our this figure it's an xy plane then that particular x is in z plane okay z axis so if you, now it's rotating about this axis so what we have to find moment of inertia so how you find that moment of inertia for moment of inertia i is equal to integration m i r i square which is m a r a square plus m b r b square plus m c r c square plus m d r d square okay and now for r a r b r c r r d you can see from this axis r a is 0 r b is 10 centimeter r c is this length so r c is this length which is 10 root 2 and uh, for rd it's again 10 okay so and but it's 10 centimeter so that was 0 0.1 meter and this is also 0 0.1 meter so you put all these values in here so ma now you have to take because now we want in si units and there is no numerator and denominator cancelling out so yeah now you have to take ma in kilograms okay so it's for 100 grams 0 0.1 into ra which is 0 square for mb it's 0 0.2 into 0 0.1 whole square plus 0 0.2 into for rc it's we calculated it's 10.2 centimeters and 10.2 by 100 in meters okay so when you calculate this thing rc it comes as it comes as 0 0.1414 meter so that is what you'll do 0 0.1414 square plus okay plus uh, for rd which is 0 0.2 into 0 0.1 0 0.1 square okay so for i finally when you can add these things i will come out as i will come out as 0 0.008 0 0.008 kg meter square okay so this is our final moment of inertia that means second part has also been solved like this so thank you for watching this video if you like our content please subscribe to our channel to learn more about physics